redundant. Anything that requires more steps than logically necessary or repeats steps unnecessarily. Example, Godot's weak ref function seems redundant. I spent several hours figuring it figuring out how weak ref works. And it was great pain in the head. Along with other parts of my body. Now I've got thing one, thing two, and thing three variables. One gets a weak ref to node thing one, one gets a weak ref to node thing two, and one directly gets the node thing one. I have here a scene with pretty much two mesh instances, thing one and thing two. Now, I have a function referent that has referee that has nothing in it, and it's running through a ready function. So, if we were to do print, and we'll do it with the variable that gets the node directly. I do tend to come out of some code and keep it around if it tends to be useful. So referee is running in the ready function. But let's do something really interesting. We're going to query free, get rid of the node, and then print its name. Show of hands, how many of you think that this will crash the game? Good, and how many of you think that we won't get an error? Also good. And we play and huh. Now since there's no camera or lights, you're not seeing anything, but we don't get an error. The reason for that is any object query freed or removed from a scene is removed on the next frame. So we're removing the object, but it's still there. We've got a Schrodinger's zombie node. But, if we remove referee from our ready function, which only runs once, and we put it in our process function, Well, we get an error. Attempt to call function query free in base previously freed instance on an all instance because we've removed it. We've printed its name. And we go back through and we try to remove it again. Now. If we do thing one dot get name. We're not removing it or anything just yet. And we play. We get an error. Non-existent function get name in base we ref. Because we have to use dot get ref. too many dots there. Okay. So we have print thing one dot get ref dot get name. If this is starting to seem a bit redundant to you, guess how it seems to me. But we've got that. Okay, so one dot get ref. Free. 
since we're since the weak ref is supposed to keep us from throwing errors when an object doesn't exist. How many of you think that this is going to, ironically, throw an error? Or two or three? Yep, it does. Not existent function, query free, and base nil. Because there's nothing in the reference. Now, what we have to do is if ref. Then we can query free it, print it, print the Schrodinger zombie object. So we do that. And we don't have any errors. <clears throat> Great. But Sometimes, well, sometimes you get a weak reference, and well, you have to add or point at a node later on in the level, like commanding a character to attack another character. Sometimes, you have to start off with it being not. Now we used if thing one dot get reference. Of course, that's when it had a weak reference. So let's play it again. And we get an error. Because, well, we don't have a reference. It's nil. Again. Let's try something. I'm curious about something. Let's get a weak ref to null. Oh, good grief, I'd better save this. It might crash my computer. Oh boy. And we still get an error. Can I convert argument 1 from nil to object? And you might be thinking, well, why not just point to any old object, because sometimes you need to get information from a specific object that doesn't have the information you're looking for. Sometimes you just have to start off with an empty variable. So, what we need to do is one you need to use either a nested if or a compound if whenever your variable can be either null or a weak reference. So we do that, we run this. Now this only prints thing one once, even though it's supposed to be going through and adding the weak ref. So let's try this. And the ors don't work. Also, I think you have to use the <coughs> variable first and then the variable dot get reference in your compound if statement. So variable first and then you get the references in the second if, and that should avoid a whole bunch of crashing. Now, thing three gets directly to the node. Because sometimes you don't want to do thing one dot get ref dot query free. So we'll do Three and thing three. 
and one will have a weak ref once we run through this one. You can also check to see if thing one, and then have a nested if check for the reference, and then check to see if there is no reference. Because if you have a weak ref and the object no longer exists, you can still get the reference to it in the if statement, but you can't do anything with it without crashing the game. So it is kind of confusing just to avoid a whole lot of problems. I think that the developers might have been able to do this a bit better, but considering how good Godot Game Engine is overall, it's not that bad. But you still have to use either get reference or you have to get have to use two variables, one for the weak reference and one for the direct reference. And you have to use a compound or a nested if statement if at any point your variable doesn't have anything in it. So that's pretty much it for weak reference. Hopefully I've saved you a lot of time and and headache by making this tutorial. If it did help you, go ahead and subscribe so that you can ring my bell and check out my Patreon page so that you can see not only some of the tutorials I'm working on, but also help support the game the games I'm working on.